Hello and welcome to another exciting episode of Beer Bros. Today we're going to try some Hefeweizen beers. Did I say that right, Keith? Weizen. Hefeweizen. <laughs> We'll go ahead and start right in the middle here. The unveiling. Keith, what do we have behind door number one? We have Pincus Hefeweizen from, uh, well, we got Pincus, yeah. It's from Germany. It's original, authentic, Pinkus. organic beer. So, and actually, according to the bottle, it's the first organic beer of in the world of its kind since 1860. So, so they were doing organics way back in the day before it was even cool. So you know what a Hefeweizen is? Hefeweizen, yes, I did my research this time. Hefeweizen is predominantly a wheat beer. Is that correct? That Made is, from barley and grains. So, yes. point for me. And it is a German ale, wheat beer, Hefeweizen, which is a yeast beer or, or yeast wheat. Hefe meaning yeast. Hefe means the boss. I yeah, knew that was kind of, yeah. I like that. We could have gotten the El Jefe from No Label Brewing, which is a Hefeweizen, but well, I didn't. We have to leave something for uh, for people to try out there. Yeah. Let's pop a top. Keith, pour. There we go. If you'll note, it's unfiltered beer, so it's uh, very cloudy. Slight of effervescence, not too much of a head, but it's white, foamy with large bubbles, not uh, smaller bubbles that you'd see in some beers. Yeah, it seems to get uh, be getting cleared a lot, uh, a lot quicker than some of the other beers we've drank in the past. Yeah, and uh, again, the foam dissipates pretty, pretty rapidly. I'm pretty eager to try this. It doesn't look like a, a typical wheat beer. It's a lot lighter than uh, than what I imagined. Let's uh, see what it smells like. Got a more European Belgian smell than the beers we've had on recently. It's kind of light. Yeah. It doesn't taste. It doesn't it doesn't smell like it'd be too heavy. So. Uh, and when we take a drink, see what spices you taste. Okay. Let's go for it. Clean pee. Clean pee. Drinky. Hmm. Oh, very smooth. Very, very smooth. Very light mouthfeel. It didn't have the typical Hefeweizen spices, and usually you'll get no. a strong flavor of banana, but this time I'm really not. It's it's very clean and easily uh, drinkable. So here yeah. we go, Pincus. A little, it's got like a sharp edge to the very beginning of it. It does. It comes off a little bit strong at the beginning, and then clearly smooths out. I like it. I could drink a whole bottle of that. Cool. I'm down, might, with, I'm down with the Hefe. You might have, you might have your opportunity. That's, yeah. So I definitely will. Oh, with yeah. that, yeah. With that, this concludes our Monday episode. Join us on Wednesday when we try our next Hefeweizen. Like, comment, subscribe. YouTube channel Trouble Brewing Studios. Studio. Studio. Because it was too big to fit. Oh. Anyway. Trouble Brewing Studio. Beer Bros out. Beer Bros out. <laughs> <laughs>